Remember that nature program we saw where those bears made a spout in the tree so syrup would come out so they could eat? Well, those bears were Yogi and Boo Boo. <laughs> I can't believe this is the night before my wedding and I'm stuck on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere with you, my mother, and that stupid snake. to be getting married in less than 14 hours and we're starving to death because my mother ate my underwears. All right, why don't all of you stay calm? We got your uh, call box number. We'll send someone out to you in a few hours. A few hours? No, no, sir, you don't understand. I've waited five years to marry this man and it's true, we had some problems in the beginning. Well, not we, but he, but he did. He did. My family loves him and, well, his mother adores me. You know, it's... It's really such a beautiful story. I mean, some say it's pathetic, but you know, I'm going with beautiful. <laughs> so what you're really saying is you feel terrible about this whole damn thing. And if you could, you'd get down on your hands and knees and apologize. Miss Fine. Apology accepted. Mom, pack my things, he wants me back. Smile. Oh, thank Aww. you, Miss Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Any time, Mr. Sheffield. Any time. <laughs> Take it back. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> Will you marry me? What do you think? My heart goes out to you, but I got one tow truck and a wedding is not an emergency. <laughs> yeah, how old? <laughs> I'll send a chopper. Oh, my God, it's, 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 it's my son in law oh, oh, my God. Don't look, don't look, honey, you can't see me. What happened? Well, I, I got a call from Val's mother. They found the car. I, I, I passed it down the road. You, you know there's a call box right next you to it. You know what? Let's not revisit that. 